from Los Angeles, it's the Good, Good, Good. Tom Mikey Show. What's up, Dud? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Right down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Here it is the day after Thanksgiving. And we're taking the day off. We'll be back with some spanking new shows next week. Meantime, we're playing back some of your favorite moments from the past. This is Tim. Yeah, Tom, you're way off base. Because I think you need to self-censor yourself. Oh, I need to self-censor myself? Yeah. Oh, that's redundant, isn't it? No, it's not. I see. And uh, why is that, Tim? And I'll tell you what. Do tell. I, I hope they start a campaign where they ask for money to try to uh, stop you from just saying anything you want. Oh, so in other words, you're opposed to freedom of speech. Oh, absolutely. Really? What country are you from, sir? Well, I'm from California. Oh, I see. But So you've never read the United States Constitution, I take it? No. I see. Maybe you ought to try I reading it sometime. Think, I just think people need to watch themselves. So you're anti-American, is that it? Well, I think people need to get more... Are you anti-American? Uh, Maybe. Maybe. So you've never read the Constitution? No. And uh, therefore you don't know that we have freedom of speech in America? Yeah, but people need to watch it. Oh, why is that? Because uh, you need a, you just can't say hurtful things about... I can say anything I want. No, you can. Yes, I can. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I've already done it. And I'm going to continue to do it. No, you're going to... there's nothing you can do to stop, stop me. No, I won't. Because I'm going to send money to... Oh, go right ahead. I'm going to do it. Do it. And I just might break my phone after this call. Oh. <laughs> I'm insane. telling you. So break your phone. What the hell do I care? Oh, I'll charge it to the station. Yo, I'll yo, go ahead. Send, you send an invoice in. He's going to oh. break his phone. That's right. I'm going to talk about it anymore. I'm quaking. Oh, I'm qu I'm going to take my radio out in the backyard and break it with a bat. Really? Yeah. You sound like a pretty violent person there, Tim. Well, I just think people, you know, people need to be more PC. PC. Politically correct. Really? Are yeah. you politically correct, Tim? What? Huh? I said, are you politically correct? Uh, I think so. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah? Yeah, like, uh, I open doors for women, and when I go into a restaurant, and I try not to say dirty jokes. I see. And, I always, and I'm always watching what I'm saying. By the way, Tim, do you know the difference between an oral and a rectal thermometer? Well, I know what a rectal, a rectal one is. Do you know the difference between an oral and a rectal thermometer? What? The taste. What? I didn't get that. I'll bet you didn't. And I, I, and I don't think that that's PC either, what you just did. Really? Yeah. Is... You better make a list of everything that is PC and not PC, uh -huh. and you better learn it. Really? Yeah. Do you know why God gave women breasts, Tim? Oh, God. I don't even want to know. No, I can't. So men would talk to them. Oh, my God. See? That's awful. Do you know why God gave women legs? Oh, God. Don't. No, no. Stop. I'm going to get mad. So they wouldn't leave snail trails. Oh, my God. What is wrong with America? I guess your station is going to get a bill for a new phone right. and a new radio. Okay, good. Because I'll, I'll do it. I'll give you the address of the station to send that bill into, okay? All right. I'm going to write it down. write it down? All right, here you go. That, oh, man, that's it. All right, you ready? Yeah, go. 610 South, yeah, South Ardmore. South Ardmore. Yeah. I'm a little nervous and I'm a little perturbed. I can tell. I'm all worked up now. I'm in a, I'm in a frothy frenzy. Are you really? Yeah, I'm what? getting all angry. Why don't you uh, break the radio right now while we're on the phone? I want to hear it. All right. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um... I'm listening. Shoot, I'm in the house. Okay, uh, let me, I'm going to do it right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to grab, that's it. Here it is. I'm just going to get the bat right now. All right. There it is. Just let me get a bat. All right. You have a bat around somewhere? Are you listening? I am, yes. Of course, you have to have the Are you phone. Listening? 
Yes! Turn yeah. the radio. Wait, wait, before you break it. Wow. You're serious. Now, uh, why, while we're on the phone, why don't you break the phone just so we'll know you're serious? God, break my phone now? Yeah, right now. Yeah, okay, okay, right. well. I'm listening. Damn, I gotta break my phone. Okay. Right now. I already broke my radio. Now I'm gonna break my phone right okay. now. Okay. Playing back some of our favorite moments from the past. Here is Keith. Question. I have only been listening to you for about four months now. Just found you here out, out in Tacoma. Yeah. And a lot of us newbies miss where you, you hold your classes. Which classes? Like it's 101. Oh, you want to know where the class is held? Yes. Well, uh, it, it, now, I, I don't know about your area, but... Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 you I'm, live, fr I'm from the Rate Me, Rate Me State. You're in Tacoma, yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say that in Southern California, um, we have been having our meetings uh, at the uh, location where they hold the meetings of the Ralph's Club. Mm -hmm. uh, Ralph's Club, of course, there are many members here in Southern California. I was recently at a meeting of Ralph's Club, and uh, uh -huh. a number of Ralph's Club members are also uh, uh, students of Ligus 101. Right. And uh, so a number of the members know where the classes are being held, but uh, I, I, there is no Ralph's Club uh, in Tacoma, is there? I, not that I know of, no. No. Okay. Because wherever they hold those meetings, the Ralph's mm -hmm. Club meetings, are places where we hold 101 classes. Great, great. Yes. Um, want to tell you, I love you. I've been listening to you. We need so, We need to get that more uh Pop, um, publicized out here. In, Absolutely. In Seattle. Yes, uh, I agree with you. So, well, are you a member of the Safeway Club or any other clubs? Is, yeah, Safeway Club. Safeway Club. Well, you should check. Well, find out where they're having their meetings. Oh, really? Yeah. If you call them and okay. ask them where the uh, club meetings are being held, mm -hmm. uh, they might have information on that. Oh, okay. So it's the Safeway Club. You, you have a you have a Safeway Club card, right? Yeah. All right. All you do is call Safeway. And ask them where the 101 classes are being held. Oh, uh, 101. In, yeah, in your area. Uh, oh, you're being promoted by Safeway. Well, Safeway Club, members of the Safeway Club, many of them are like us 101 students. Oh, okay. So if you uh, stop by your local Safeway, ask the manager of the Safeway where the uh, Safeway Club meetings are being held. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. And uh, I'm sure he can help you out with that. Uh, I, I just went to a Ralph's Club meeting this week, as a matter of fact. We had some really yeah. serious issues to talk about. Uh, yeah. Now, yeah. don't get me wrong. I listened to you on Thursday night. Uh huh. And um, and I I do pick up some of you, some of your stuff, but I but the uh, I'd like to hear the whole Monty, you know. Yeah. Well, I understand. Well, if you go to one of the classes, uh, there's no doubt you'll get the whole ball of wax. Uh, you know, and out here is there a Safeway near you? Uh yes. All right. Uh, yes. Go to the manager there and ask him what night the Safeway Club meetings are being held. Okay. You'll have to bring your club card to get in. Okay. All yeah. right. They'll run that through the scanner. Will they? Cool. Yeah, yeah they will. But then you get into the meeting. Uh, other members like yourself uh -huh. uh, meet there at the Safeway. It's a regular thing. We have that here in Los Angeles, the Ralph's Club. We get together on a regular basis. We discuss issues of concern to the community. Uh, right, uh, right. Should you wax vegetables or not? We had a meeting about that <laughs> recently. We also... Uh, we were talking uh, not too long ago about uh, whether you want to eat brand name chicken or generic, and uh, the Ralph's Club members had very strong opinions about this. Uh, there are about 10,000 people at a meeting. I mean, it's pretty big. Really? Yeah, wow. and and uh, we took a vote on whether people prefer paper or plastic <laughs> because the people at Ralph's uh, were, you know, they wanted to get the club member. You know, obviously the club members hold more weight than just your average uh, Ralph's customer. Right, right. Yeah, so uh, that's the deal. Go to your Safeway, uh, go to the local Safeway and ask them when the club meetings are held. When the club meetings and usually... Yes, and they're usually the 101 uh, classes are like an adjunct. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. I, this, this is something I did not know. Yeah, you had a club card, you didn't even know it. Yeah. Uh, see, that's how much, we're, how much things are uh, suppressed here in Washington. Absolutely. You know? No doubt about it. I mean... And, and I want to tell you, uh, you, I'm. I wish I would have met you when, you, when I was younger, because yeah. I, I, I'm sorry I got into a re relationship with a controlling bitch. Oh boy. Um, it had a kid with her, but oh, and boy. not paying child support. Oh boy. Well, uh, you know, some of these club meetings get they they do handle some tough issues too. We right. Have, 
We had a meeting recently to discuss mastication. Really? And whether it's something you would do with children in the room. And it, it, we got a pretty vocal response. Wow. And uh, a number of people said they, if you can believe this, they had taught their kids how to masticate. Wow. And oh, that wow. they had masticated in front of children. No way. Yeah, that's what they say. I, you know, you would think you go to these supermarket club meetings, you would think all they'd be talking about is, you know, when are double coupons going to end? But <laughs> no, they they talk about they talk about the serious issues. Oh wow! Yes, I guess. And next time you're in Southern California, really, if you know a member of the Ralphs Club, mm -hmm. have him take you to one of the meetings. They are uh, unbelievable. They're uh, really. Yeah, I mean, wow. you, if you can find a parking space, I mean. Well, it's hard enough to park at Ralph's when you're just shopping, but when they have a club oh, yeah, meeting, I was in. I think they got one in South Central, and I looked, and I just when I was taking my kid to Disneyland, uh -huh. and we we just skipped it because you can't can't get in there. So there wasn't a club meeting going on at the time. I don't. I don't know. It was like eight o'clock. I night. mean, you just thought that was a discount card. That's a, there's actually a club. Uh, also, I another club I belong to, uh, and I, you, you got to take advantage of all the benefits. Nobody ever reads the little brochures mm -hmm. that come along with these cars. Um, I, I went to a meeting of the Automobile Club of Southern California. Yeah, the Auto Club. We had a meeting, uh -huh. and uh, you wouldn't believe because just about everybody's a member. You wouldn't believe how many people showed up for that. <laughs> It was held at the Polly Pavilion over at UCLA. A Polly Pavilion? Polly Pavilion, yeah. And we all got together and uh, all the members of the auto club. Right. I mean, i got to tell you, you, you're in Southern California. You've got a nightlife. <laughs> One night it's the Ralph's Club. Another night it's the auto club. Yeah. I, I can't say that here in Tacoma, so. No? Well, you haven't. Yeah, but have you talked to the Safeway yet about the Safeway Club? No, I will. I, I will go up there. I will go up there tonight and ask the manager. the manager. Go to the manager, <laughs> Safeway in Tacoma. Ask him when the club meetings are being held. Okay. All right. Thank you, Professor. No problem. I'm here to help. Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Listen, I just got one word for most of these guys out here: birth control. I think that's two words. It's the Tom Likas show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Los Angeles with some favorite moments from the past. Now, after listening to Peter, you just might want to change what you serve at Thanksgiving next year. Hey, um, you know, I eat, I, eat, I eat a lot of dogs. I love dog meat. You know, I'm a Korean American. I grew up in, in the States since 1969. Uh, I, I acquired a taste for eating dog meat when I was in the service. You know, I'm an ex, ex uh, army ranger. Were you in the service uh, in the United States or in Korea? I was in the service with the U.S. Army. U.S. Army. 75th Ranger Regiment. And uh, where did you get dog meat when you were in the army? Well, I acquired a taste when I was stationed in Korea. I see. Uh huh. And, and uh, now, are there particular breeds that taste better than others? Tell me about that. Well, see, there was this other guy that just called in like a few minutes ago about uh, eating the the big, big fat dog. Yeah. The Koreans don't eat the name breed. We don't eat no sh German Shepherds or Chihuahuas or or anything like those. What do you eat, mutts? Koreans, they breed the mixed breed dogs just for consuming purposes. All right, so you eat mixed breed, you eat mutts, in other words. Yeah. Uh huh. So they breed dogs. So know? are there any particular like breed mixes that taste better than others? You know, like I don't know, uh, a, well, like a know, collie and a German Shepherd, for example. Well, you look at Chihuahua, you just you know you just don't have any meat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, but uh, well, they said the mixed breed tastes better. I personally, I could care less because I love dog meat. It's all good, huh? And I hate I ate a lot of dogs and and. I ate I ate a, I ate a lot of meat. I mean, I I ate all kinds of meat. I ate rabbits when I was in the service. You know, I ate snakes. I ate deer meat. I like so, to focus but, on the dogs for a second, though. Is there a good preparation? I'm curious. Like, uh, what kind of sauces go good with dog? Uh, how would you serve it? Well, there's you, you have to you have to cook it right because of the smell. Okay, the dog dog meat has a lot of smell to it, so you have to cook it right with some uh, soybean paste. Soybean paste, we'll of, uh -huh. yeah, which will get rid of the uh, get rid of the smell, most ninety percent of the smell. Then you then you put then you put a lot of stuff like garlic, garlic, uh, sesame seeds. Uh huh. So you you put a lot of ingredient in it, and uh, 
and that's and, and yeah, you make mostly soup or soup or with the dog. Uh huh. Yeah. And, and you, you eat a little kimchi on the side. That'd probably get rid of some of the smell, huh? Uh, yeah, kimchi's always, kimchi's always uh, you know, it's always a side dish for Korean food. Yeah. You know, any dish. And and if you get some uh, soju, which is a Korean uh, uh, drink, Korean vodka type thing, you know, get some little soju, uh-huh. get rid of the taste, you know. Now, I don't know, I, uh, do Koreans drink wine at all? Well, Koreans drink a lot. I mean, we I, drink. You drink a lot. I was wondering, what, what kind of wine would go good with dog? Uh, like I said, soju, which is like almost like a, it's like Korean vodka. I see. Mm-hmm. That's what it's called. It's called soju. It's a traditional Korean uh, hard liquor, and usually people uh, drink drink soju with uh, with dog meat. And I have taken a lot of when I was in the service, I took a lot of these uh, these so-called American GIs, you know, white people, black people. You know, I take these guys out. I say, hey, let's go out and try some dog beef. And they go, oh, man, how can you eat that stuff? But you know what? After I after I introduced them to the dog beef, man, they go crazy. They after couldn't that. get enough of it after that. No, sir. One is too many and ten's not enough. Wow. So, yeah, you brought the boys in and they just loved it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, I, mm-hmm. I, you know, I took some of the generals out there to eat dog beef. Uh-huh. And they loved it. They loved it. Yeah, and this guy, this guy called about his ex-wife and uh, you know Korean ex-wife yeah. that that had, that goes to a Korean restaurant in L.A. and, and they serve under the table dog meat. That's a bunch of crock of BS. You know they they say that if there was, I would be I would be the first one there to find those under the under the table dog meat. You know, really. But those meat they serve in those L.A. Uh, the Korean town. Yeah. Called dog meat. You know what those are? What is that? Those are goat meat, which is legal in the states to sell it. And those, you know, those look almost like a dog meat. And that's what they call. Yeah. So, you know. You'd I, love I, to I, get some dog meat. Have, have you made anything with dog in it yourself uh, while you've been uh, living here in the states? You know what? Yes, I have. You have. And there's a place in Chino where you could go up and they'll kill the dog for you and they'll, they'll call me for you and. And everything. So you can catch, is it like uh, catch of the day? Can you pick the dog you want to eat? Oh, uh, well, you know what? I, I, you know, I don't really want to get into detail, but you know what I used to do? Why? I used to go to a dog pound. <laughs> and uh, I took a dog, at. you know, big no sweet dog, and I said, oh, I'll take that. <clears> on three. adoption I'll day, yeah, you go down like the well, ASPCA. Mm-hmm. Dollars, yeah. And I'll take him to Chino, or there's some people over there that'll slaughter for us. Do they, uh, is it like a butcher? Will they cut them into, like, uh, you know, flank steaks? Uh, yeah, well, you know, uh-huh. they just cut them up. I mean, you know, they won't cut them up to a, like, you know. Could you get, like, tenderloin or filet? Or whatever, but uh-huh. they're just cut them, they're, they're just cut them up. We'll, we're just, we'll just make soup out of it anyway. So what's the, what's good. the best, is there a good, is there a good cut, like, a, the best cut of a dog? Uh, rib. Rib, the ribs. Yeah. Now, do you, uh, now, I've been to a lot of these Korean barbecue joints over on Western Avenue. Do you actually barbecue them? Well, you don't barbecue dogs, no. No. No, you don't. That would be the right way to prepare a dog. Why not? I, I'm kind of losing you. I said, well, why wouldn't you barbecue a dog? You barbecue other meats in Korea. Why not dog? Well, because you, the main problem is you, you you probably will not get rid of the smell. Oh, I see. That's why I say there's Then a, your neighbors are going to know what you're up to. That'll be another problem. Uh, well, most likely. But uh, but like I said, you know, there's, uh, the guy said there's there's uh, restaurants in Koreatown that serve dog meat. No, that's that's crock of BS, because if there was, I'd be the first one out there to, to find those dog meat and eat it. Up I understand. Well, maybe uh, one of our listeners, uh, like the Zagat survey, one of our listeners has uh, gotten some of that black market dog meat. can tell you where to go. Well, like I said, you know what? I I heard the rumors, and I went around those restaurants in Koreatown. I lived I lived in Koreatown for, for 30 years. Uh-huh. I went around. I couldn't find that. Now, if they can sell it to a Korean guy like me, I don't know who they're going to sell it to. I wonder. All right, Peter. Well, this has been very informative, and I want to thank you for calling in. All right, Tom. Well, take me on with a five hit. All right, here it is, babe. <coughs> Tom Likas. one 800 800 tom Tom Likas. <laughs> the Tom Likas Show. This 
is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles to 1-800-5800-TOM, wide open telephones. It's Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How are you there? No, I left the room. Are you there, Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Yes, I've been waiting for two hours now. All right, hold on. I'll get him for you. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, this is Tom. Oh, did you want to talk to Tom? Well, I've been waiting for two hours, yes. All right, hang on there. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. You ever see the movie Groundhog Day? This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom? Hello? Yes. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm waiting for Tom. My name is Gabe. All right, Gabe, hold on there. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom? Where's Tom? Oh, Tom, you want to talk to Tom? For Christ's sake, yes. How many times am I going to say that? I don't know. Hold on a second. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles. At 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello? Yes, is this Tom? Oh, did you want to talk to Tom? Yes, please. All right, hold on, please. This is the Tom Likas Show. From our nation's capital, Los Angeles, California. It's the Tom Likas Show. This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, give me Tom, please. I've been waiting. All right, hold on, please. Okay. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. I have some of my throat. <coughs> this is Gabe. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Tom. Is this Tom finally? Did you want to talk to Tom? Christ, yes. All right, hold on, please. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Tom? Can I help you? Is this Tom? I need to speak to Tom. My name is Gabe. All right, hold on, Gabe. This is the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM, this is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, Tom? Can I help you? I'm waiting for Tom still. All right, hang on there, Gabe. This is the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Gabe. Gabe, you're on the Tom Likas Show. I'm on the line. Okay. Is Tom there? Oh, yeah. Hang on. I'll get him for you. Well... This is 
the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. I'm Gabe. Yes. Am I on the line finally? It's, do you have a telephone? No, I've been waiting for Tom for two hours. So somebody promised, Dino promised to put me on the line. Oh, I see. You wanted to talk to Tom. More than that, yes. You want to more than talk to him? What do, you, what do you mean? Well, I want to talk to him, but I'm getting terribly anxious here. This has been two hours of waiting. He's a popular guy, and I appreciate that. Wow. But he could be the Queen of England, and I wouldn't wait for her two hours. Sounds like you waited for Tom for two but hours. But I'll wait for Tom. All right, hang on. Let me get him for you. This is the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. I'm waiting for Tom. All right, hold on there, please. This is the Tom Likas Show. From San Francisco at 1-800-5800-TOM. Hello, yeah. Can Where's I... Tom? Uh, oh, he's in the other room. Should I get him for you? Well, do you count the times in which you ask me the same question? Can I tell you how many times you ask me the same question, mm -hmm. sir? I have no idea. Well, 17 thus far. we got a lot of callers here, sir. I have no objections, no problem. I'll wait, but finally I must get to him, huh? All right, I'll get him right on the phone here. This is the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Yeah, okay. Where's Tom? Oh, he's right over here. Hang on a second. This is the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. The show with the most bumper music. Gabe, hello. Oh, for heaven's sake, is this Tom? Is this Gabe? Yes, it is. I've been waiting for two and a half hours on the line. Really? It is worth it if this is you. If it is me? Yeah, I mean, if you're Tom, then I tell you it's worth it. And if it isn't Tom? Then they can kiss my rectum. Really? Yes, all of them. All of them? Yes, Tom. All right. Yeah. They can all kiss your rectum. Do you want me right, to tell that correct. to Tom? So is that Tom? Did you want me to tell that to Tom? Yes, please. And tell him also that I worship the ground on which he walks. All right. Let me get him for you. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Well, I don't seem to be on the air. You oh, oh you wanted... Oh, air. wait. You wanted to be on the air. For Christ's sake, yes. For two and a half hours, I've been... Ex oh. I ex explained my position. Oh, you, you wanted... Know. Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted to be on the air. Hold on, please. This is the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello? Well, you're going to cut me off or something, right? No, I'm not going to cut you off. Why would I do that? Well, I don't know because I, don't, I, I can hardly believe that you're trying. Trying to do what? To reach Tom for me, with your respect. Oh, I can get Tom for you. I can't believe that you can't. In fact, I'll tell you something else. What's that? Whoever you are, yeah. unless you're the chap I was talking to before. I was talking to a chap called Dino. Yes. If you're Dino, then I trust you might be able to locate him for me. But if it's anyone other than Dino, 
I doubt it. But anyway, I'll wait. Do you think Dino... Oh, you'll wait? Okay, wait there a second. Well, he was the one who made the promise. Okay, well, uh, wait. Dean are, you, Dean, are you in there? Hey, this is Dino. Well, it's Gabe, Dino. What happened to you? I'm ready to rock. Five hours ago, you promised to put me in touch with Tom. I'm ready to rock. So am I, but where's Tom? I, I, we're going to get him for you. This is the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM, this is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Can I help you? Well, yes, certainly you can help me. What can I do for you? I'll soon dr start drinking alcohol because I cannot get in touch with your famous Tom. Oh, you wanted to talk to Tom? For Christ's sake, yes. Why didn't you tell me, for God's sake? This is the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM, this is Gabe on the Tom Likas Show. Are you drinking over there, sir? No, I'm waiting for Tom. Oh, hang on Where's a second. Tom? Oh, hang on. This is the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Gabe, hello. Well, I don't even hear his name on the phone. Whose name? Tom. You didn't hear his name? Well, no, not, not on, the, uh, on the radio or on the, on the telephone. This is the Tom Likas Show. That much I can hear, yes. But that's all I hear. That's all you hear? Yeah, because I don't hear him talking to anybody else. Can you hear me? Now I did, yes. You hear me? Yes. But what's you can't hear name? you can't hear Tom. No, but what's your name? What's the difference? Because I want to know and I deserve to know who I'm talking to. With due respect. No? You're telling me you want to talk to Tom. Yes, but I'm also saying that I need to know who I'm speaking to right now because it is only a reasonable privilege. I don't think I'm allowed to give out my name. Very good. Well then Dino gave me his name. Give me my blessings. Hey, this is Dino. Uh, Dino Paisano, it's uh, Gabriel. What happened to D to uh, Tom? Huh? We're trying to find Tom, remember? Tom. Hey, Dino. I'm ready to rock. Yeah, but where is... I'll rock anything you want, but where is... Uh, where is that man of mine now? The one I worship. What do you say? Huh? Where did the guy go called Tom? What? I'm looking for Tom. Am I correct? I'm speaking to Dino. Is that true? I'm ready to rock. You are Dino. Hey, this is Dino, and I'm here with Tom, and we're talking to Hot Tub Amy. Okay, well, I'm ready to rock with you guys if you ever connect me to, to Tom. I'm sorry, Gabe. We run out of time. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likas Show. We don't have any more bumper music here at the Tom Likas Show. Vicky, hello. Hi. Hi, Vicky. I just want to know what the hell that guy wanted to tell you. The poor <laughs> guy was just dying to talk to you. He obviously must be a listener, but I don't understand how he could be a listener if he did not know it was you on the phone. You have such a distinctive voice, and I'm just sitting here cracking up thinking this poor son of a bitch is wanting to talk to Tom. He's been talking to him the whole time, and I just want to know what the guy wanted to tell you. You, uh, you, you really want to know? Yes, can kill Guess me. Guess what? Well, listen, listen now. He, he's still holding on. Oh, you, no, he's you, not. You want to ask him? Yeah, I do. All right, hold on. I do. Gabe? Yes? Vicky has a question for you. Yeah, but where is Tom? Well, Gabe, I, really, I think I can get you to Tom. I really do. But you what promise? I need to know is what do you want to talk to him about. Because before ahead, we Vicky. put you on the air, I, I, need to, I need to know what you want to talk to him about. Okay, Vicky. 
uh, ask your questions, you'll get your answers. Uh, Guarantee. I, I, I just definitely want to know what you wanted to talk to Tom about. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm helping screen his calls. Well, tonight, the only thing he has talked about, Vicky, all day long that uh -huh. I've been hearing is the issue of war between sexes. Uh huh. And that's all. And, and you have an opinion on that, I take it. More than one, but one would be sufficient to shake well, the foundation out of him. Oh, really? Like, what you would that be? You tell him that. Oh, I will, but I, I, I need to tell him what that is first. Oh, what I mean, will shake his foundation? Little... Yeah, well, I wanna... yeah, what would shake his foundation? Well, what will shake the foundation is one absolute truth for which what? I'm prepared to put my ass out. Oh, well, he... we'd love to see that. He is plain insolent. No more, Gabe, no less. Gabe, we're going to let you put your ass out in just a minute. The Tom Like is Show, 1-800-5800-TOM. Uh, Dean tells me we have a caller who's been holding on quite a while. I want to get him on. I want to get Gabe on the air. Uh, Gabe, you're on the Tom Like is Show. Hello. I'm on the air. Been waiting a while here? It's Gabe here. Yes. Am I on the air? The Tom Likas Show.